<laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm just gonna ask you to pick any card. As you can see, everything is mixed, okay? But I'm just gonna ask you just to touch any card. Don't take it, just touch any card you want. Doesn't matter which one. This one? Okay. Now, you want that card or you wanna change it? No, no, okay. I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, can you please extend the hand like that? I'm gonna put it over there. Can you please say stop anywhere you want? Okay. I'm gonna last it completely. All right. Mm -hmm. We don't know which one is it. Well, I don't know which one is it. Now, uh, since I don't know which card is it, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration, and this is what is gonna happen. If I use my index finger and I push really gentle on top, one card goes all the way through the table. Believe it or not, you did your card. No. No. Okay. That's fine. No problem. But what happens if we push a little harder, just like that? Well, now we have a bunch of cards. None of, none of this is your card, right? Okay, good enough. And that is because I don't know which one is it. But let's see. Maybe you, since you know which one is it, it may work. Okay. So, <laughs> do you? <laughs> okay, push it. Okay. I know you don't believe me, so that's okay. That's fine. I don't blame you. Now it didn't work. Can you push a little harder with your fist? There you go. Uh, well, no, you broke it. <laughs> well, I'm, well, that's okay. I mean, it happens to me once in a while. Which one was your card? Nine of hearts. Nine of hearts. Okay, let's go through very quickly and see so if we can find it. Well, I think I know what happened. Sometimes it gets stuck in the middle of the process. Right there, we have the nine of hearts. What a coincidence, right? Well, I guess you like it because now I'm going to show you how it's done. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? So let me go ahead very quickly and explain some of the issues. If you watch this performance and you think it is too obvious, don't be discouraged because it doesn't really translate the performance in video as it is in live performance because you are able or you are more capable to stare both hands in video which is a really small square compared to live performance because when i'm trying to catch people's attention over here it is a greater distance in live performance what i'm doing in this hand than this hand okay well let me go through and explain what i'm talking and the way the loading process works okay so let me go through very quickly I have the spectator to pick any card. Let's say they want this card, whatever card that's six of spades. I'm trying to score the six of spades with a different card over here as much as possible. I already have a tutorial for this, which is a different way of controlling a card. I'm squaring the indifferent card with a selection. I take the six of spades and show it one second. So they know I took it, okay? Before I completely square the spread on top of the deck, I'm trying to keep a pinky break right under the selection. This is the selection, the six of spades. Pinky break and a square. And at this point, I'm controlling the six of spades all the way at the bottom, okay? And then I do the move. When I have the spectator to put their hand like this, I'm doing the move over here. I'm gonna load the card right under the map. Well, I will explain that in a minute. But I want you to see that when I have the spectator to lift up the hand, the car, you can put it over here, you can lift it over here, so you create a greater distance. And notice I start with a car mat a little bit on the side, so I can square the mat on the center. Oh, let me tell you one more thing. I have six cards in advance, right under the table. Okay, so I don't need to do any palming. Just six cards is good enough for the purpose of this performance. And just put it right under, and you can begin um with a routine now uh, it, it always depends if you are on a higher table this is a low table but if you have a higher table uh, over your knees you can keep these six cards in the middle of your legs okay just keep your legs close and leave it right there in the center so you don't drop them but if you are in a small table like this you can just leave it under the table okay it always depends on the table you're using but anyway let me go through and explain the misleading process when you have it over here, the Jack of Hearts, this is the indifferent card. I keep the Jack of Hearts over here. Pinky ray right under. The point is you need to control the selection all the way at the bottom. So the audience is more distracted over here. You're misleading the person, the audience. 
I move the card, as you can see, I move it, I pull down with a ring finger, just the ring finger, right? you don't need any other fingers, pull down, and it does going to separate it. Now, because you're subjecting the card over here, the palm of the hand is going to cover, okay? And to ensure it's only one card, you need to squeeze a little bit. But notice in the performance side, never try to stay quiet, mainly in this process. I always try to say something as you're watching the routine. I do the move and don't just push it because sometimes the car mat may be stuck really well on the table. Depending on the material on the surface, you may need to, instead of pushing it under, you may need to slide it from the bottom towards the center of the mat. Okay, now I'm going to leave it outside so you can see what I'm doing. I have the middle and ring finger under this card. So I need to move the middle finger away and have it free. So I can lift the, the mat, push it against the index finger. Let go and drag the mat. Okay, it looks really natural because you are cutting people's attention on this card. Notice the distance. And even if they stare at your hand, they aren't supposed to see anything because you're keeping this hand as close as possible on the surface of the table. So, at uh, regular speed, notice I keep it over there. I do the cuts. Then, can you please hold the hand like that? Then just drag it. Okay, so you can put the card over there as an excuse and then just say stop and the move is already done so the dialogue it is uh, natural it has to be a good motivation and a good reason why you're dragging the mat over here okay uh, while you're cutting people's attention on with this other hand well notice in the video you can stare both hands at the same time in the performance in live audience is even more disingenuous than this video performance so don't be discouraged I've been doing this performance and they've been working very well. It won't work twice, okay? I tell you that. Maybe if you do it in a different way, you probably work it out, but not using the same method as you watch. Now, once I finish dragging the mat over here, I give the card and put it on the hand, and then fix it again, just a little bit. I mean, just touch it. Don't over-exaggerate. Don't keep touching it back and forward, and don't shake it like this. Don't really cut people's attention too much on the car mat, okay? So when you... Do the move, don't try to do this, okay? Don't try to check it, just drag it. That's more natural and more subtle, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's the move, and whatever you wanna do with the routine as you watch it, um, that's gonna be up to you, you know? So just do the move, and when you wanna fix it, just fix it once, a little bit, and that's it. That's why it is important that you start with a car mat on the side so you can fix it later. Um, as you're watching the performance. So that's it. I guess that's all I have to say about it. So just to finish it very quickly, just run the ring finger, okay? You slide it like you're cutting from the bottom all the way to the center of the mat. Push it all the way in. So you can lift it right away. Try not to delay it too much. Don't keep your hand over here for too long. You may end up having a few issues because the ring finger and the middle finger, those two fingers are right under the selection. But when you let go the middle finger, so you can catch the mat and pinch it against the index finger, when you move it to the side, if your ring finger is too tacky, you may end up dragging the car along with it, you know, and you don't want that. So you have to really move the ring finger away so you can move it on the center, okay? So you need to buy a small car mats. Don't use it a huge one because then it won't be a lot of room for you to move it. <laughs> That's why I had to buy these little ones. So that's it, and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.